Moving on to sixth question. In figure 9.25, diagonals AC and BD of quadrilateral ABCD intersect at O such that OB is equal to OD. If AB is equal to CD, show that area of triangle DOC is equal to area of triangle AOB, area of triangle DCB is equal to area of triangle ACB, and DA parallel to CB, or else ABCD is a parallelogram. Now moving on to the solution. Here, he has given a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to CD and also he says that OB is equal to OD. Now let us consider in triangle DBC OB is equal to OD. Therefore we can say that CO is the median. As CO is a median, we can say that it divides the area of triangle DCB into two equal halves that is area of triangle DOC is equal to area of triangle COB and again if we consider in triangle DAB OB is equal to OD AO is a median therefore we know that in triangle area is divided by the median into two equal halves. We can say here area of AOD is equal to area of AOB. Now let this be as equation number one and this be as equation number two. So therefore by adding both equations we get area of triangle DOC plus area of triangle AOD is equal to area of triangle COB plus area of triangle AOB. That implies area of triangle DOC plus AOD is nothing but area of triangle DAC which is equal to area of triangle COB plus AOB is nothing but area of triangle ABC here. Here we got area of triangle DAC is equal to area of triangle ABC. Now we shall draw DX perpendicular to AC and BY which is perpendicular to AC. Therefore now we can say area of triangle DAC will be half times base here is nothing but AC into height here is DX which is equal to half times base in triangle ABC is nothing but AC into height here is BY that implies DX is equal to AY. Now let us consider both the triangles that is triangle DXC and triangle BYA. In this both triangles angle DXC is equal to angle BYA which is equal to 90 degrees and hypotenuse DC is equal to hypotenuse AB in both the right angle triangles and also we got DX is equal to AY. Therefore we can say that triangle DXC is congruent to triangle BYA by the right angle hypotenuse side property of congruency. We know that when two triangles are congruent then their corresponding angles and corresponding sides will be equal. Therefore here we can equate angle DCX is equal to angle YAB. Here therefore they become the alternate interior angles for the lines AB and CD with the AC as transversal. Therefore, as here the alternate interior angles are equal, we can say that DC is parallel to AB and initially it is given that DC is equal to AB. Therefore, now in quadrilateral ABCD, opposite sides are parallel and or equal. Therefore, we can say that quadrilateral in which or one of the opposite sides is parallel and or equal is a parallelogram. Therefore, here we can say that 
given ABCD is a parallelogram. Now we know that in a parallelogram diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. We know that in a parallelogram diagonals bisect each other. We can say O divides AC in the 1 is to 1 ratio. Therefore here OA will be equal to OC. Now let us consider in triangle DAC OC is equal to OA. Therefore here area of triangle DOC will be equal to area of triangle DOA and also in triangle ABC as OC is equal to OA area of triangle BOC will be equal to area of triangle AOB but we know that area of triangle DOC is equal to area of triangle BOC therefore we can say that area of triangle DOC will be equal to area of triangle AOB this is what our first proof required since we get that area of triangle DOC is equal to area of triangle BOC now let us name these equations as equation number 3 and this as equation number 4 here let us add the area of triangle OCB on both sides which is equal to area of triangle AOB plus area of triangle OCB that implies area of triangle DOC plus OCB is nothing but area of triangle DCB which is equal to area of triangle AOB plus area of triangle OCB is nothing but area of triangle ABC therefore finally we can say that area of triangle DBC is equal to area of triangle ABC this is what the required proof for us